Are you in need of a nudge or a nap? Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? In this video, we're going to dive in for part two of our series on figuring out if you should go to that event that you just don't feel like going to, or perhaps it's time to stay home. Welcome back to my channel where we use science to help you improve your focus, increase your productivity, and better manage that stress so that you can enjoy your ambition again and your life too. So without further ado, let's get to work. In this video, we're going to continue to ask the questions to help you figure out, do you, should you really push yourself to do that workout, to go to that social event, or is it time to pull back, recharge, maybe stay home? So in the last video, we covered two questions. Question number one, is it a rule or the exception? that you just don't feel like going, or you just don't feel like doing this thing that would otherwise objectively be maybe a good thing for you to do. Rule or exception. Question number two, have you enjoyed this activity before? Or is it something that you have just never enjoyed and you just push yourself to do? All right, question number three, can I picture myself there? And I, I mean it, take a moment, Close those eyes if you have to and picture what it would be like to be doing this activity. What does it feel like in your body? What does it feel like on your skin? What can you hear? What do you see? What do you feel? I know, a little unusual for most of us, but give it a try. And if you just for this moment envision for yourself what it might be like to go. If there's any little twinge of enjoyment or goodness in that imagined experience, then that's a signal you should go. But if it's absolutely dreadful for you, without question, don't. Now, notice how I asked you to envision what it would be like to go and not to envision what it would be like to avoid the event. Why? Because essentially we're creating a potential reward association when we're imagining what it might be like to go. And if we do that with imagining what it might be like not to go, we're creating subconsciously an award association with not going. And if we're looking to help ourselves become more active, become more social, perhaps maintain commitments, then we want to lean in towards the questions, the activities, the inclinations towards going. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to default to going every time. As you know from a prior video, that's not always the best choice, but give it a chance. All right. Final question number four. Is this activity in line with my values. And if you have questions about what I mean by in line with your values, check out the video linked up here or here, depending on where it goes today. And I'll make sure to link it in the comments below as well. So back to the question, is this in line with my values? This is where we really have to take a psychological step back and go beyond the discomfort, going beyond the urge for avoidance and tap into something else that also matters for us. As you know from prior videos, we are wired to avoid discomfort, but that is not always the most helpful choice for us. There are bigger forces at play, such our values, our purpose, which would give us much greater benefit if we behaved according to those than just to avoid potential discomfort in the immediate moment. So. For example, if you value fitness, if you value your health, but you really don't feel like doing that physical therapy or that exercise, you would choose to push through the naturally human desire to avoid discomfort. The discomfort being, well, you just don't feel like it, not necessarily that you have some actual medical issue. And give it a try. So if you value social connection, if you value being dependable, 
you're going to choose to keep that social engagement over just pursuing that initial desire for avoidance. Because even though you don't feel like it, there's something more important for you, something greater that you are committed to. So in a nutshell, essentially, this question is all about getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I know you guys can handle this. You have done plenty of uncomfortable and challenging things in your lives. I want you to bring that determination into these little events in life where you could choose something that's helpful or unhelpful. And that decision point can be critical to your overall well being, stress management, ability to focus, ability to recharge so you can really produce. So, recap question number one from the last video was, is this the rule or the exception that I just don't feel like doing this? Question number two, have I enjoyed this before? Question number three, can I picture myself there? And finally, question number four, is this in line with my values? Is there a greater force here that I can tap into beyond just the immediate mood, the immediate desire to avoid something. That's it for today. As always, please leave me your questions, comments, ideas below. I love hearing from you. And if you like this content and want to see more, feel free to subscribe and like below. And remember to tune in every week for another science-based video to help you live, work, and feel better. Until next time, let's get to work.